Welcome to the Okanagan Forest Channel. If you look around this channel, you're going to see that our emphasis is on enjoying the outdoors and finding ways to do it in a simple, frugal, and self-reliant approach. I'm not up at my cabin right now, but if you look on the channel, you can see lots of examples of the cabin. Right now there's over a foot of snow there and it's cold and so on and so forth. So today I've come out to enjoy the outdoors here along Puget Sound. And I'm at Ibby's Landing, which is a state park. And although there are lots of people here, it's a very big space. And so there isn't the feeling of being crowded or pushed around and everybody seems to want to take care of this beautiful spot. It's a great place to go hiking good place to get out. And I guess the point that I want to make today with this uh, brief video is that um, there's a lot of talk now about being green and going all solar or wind power or um, whatever the case may be. And you know, a lot of those new technologies aren't very economical. And I am no expert, but what I would like to say is pencil it out before you take some new green ideology hook, line, and sinker and swallow a, you know, a, an idea that may not be well considered. Pencil it out. Because in my mind, and you'll see this by looking at my cabin and how I've got things set up, being frugal is far better than being green. And what do I mean by that? I mean, you don't have to spend hundreds or thousands of dollars on all this new technology to live very happily in a simple way. Simplicity as a lifestyle and frugality, as far as personal economics, really, really can give you tremendous power. As you look at the Okanagan Forest Channel, there are probably some people out there that wonder, well, how could I ever buy a piece of land like that in the outdoors? Um, how could I ever have a cabin even as simple as the one that I have, which is just made out of an old refrigerated container, a reefer? Well, it's like this. When somebody tells you that you can buy a condo or an apartment or a house and it's $400,000, well, maybe what you want to do is buy one that's 200 instead. Or instead of buying that brand new fancy SUV multi, you know, a green car that costs you $50,000, um, go buy a used car or take the bus and save your money. In my case, the 40 acres around my cabin that you'll see here on Okanagan Forest Channel cost me less than a lot of those fancy cars do today. And of course, it appreciates in value, it doesn't depreciate. I don't mean to give you a big lecture stand on my soapbox and so on and so forth. I just want you to take advantage of the things that you have and don't always go out and spend your money on the latest backpack or the latest uh, TV um, notoriety knife that isn't any better than a knife that you can get out of the drawer in your kitchen. Um, bushcraft is, good bushcraft is really living simply and taking advantage of the things around you and being frugal and economic um, in your use of tools and everything else. You don't have to buy all that stuff that they market on the television. Well, that's enough for my, my speech today. I just want you to uh, think about the outdoors and find ways that you can get into the outdoors and really truly enjoy them. Um, a walk along this beach doesn't cost anything except for the time and the effort to enjoy it. And there are lots of people out today that are doing just that and having a lot of fun with it. Um, that's a conscious choice. It's a choice between spending a lot of money or just getting out and enjoying the outdoors. And believe me, 
the quality of your life will be better. If you spend time in the outdoors, not spend time spending money at the mall. Enough said. Happy trails and good luck with your project.